Okay, what's up traders? So today we're going to have another video about a forex market strategy that puts you on the right side of market makers. Now, if you've been trading some time, right, uh, you probably understand that, uh, that brokers or rather institutional players as well want to take out your stop loss when it comes to trading. Okay, that's how they make the money, right? You, you must understand that uh, when it comes to trading Forex or you know, stocks or any, any instrument, right? Uh, it's actually a zero-sum game, okay? So what do I mean by zero-sum game? I mean that um, for you to make money, someone must lose money, okay? That's just the nature of the markets, right? If you buy, you are hoping that someone buys at a someone buys at a higher price from you, right? Because if the price is moving up, then someone else is actually beating the price up, okay? So when it comes to trading, right, uh, it's a zero-sum game. And that is why uh, brokers and institutions are always looking to take out your stop loss, okay? So how do you actually align yourself at the, you know, the right side? How do you align uh, their interests with your interests, okay? I think that comes from identifying the uh, change of uh, hands area. I like to call it change of hands, meaning where uh, institutions are accumulating their position and uh, retail traders are actually you know, exiting their position. That's called the change of hands. Okay, maybe I'll just write it out. I like to call this change of hands. It's when uh, retail traders are exiting and institutional traders are getting in. Okay, so it could be the form of, um, you know, the uh, retail traders are being stopped out of a position uh, and the institutional traders are using that to buy, to accumulate their position, right? And after the retail trader has really lost the money. Okay, so they do this, you know, be it in a bullish market or in a bearish market. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you uh, how do you find these levels, okay? Uh, number one, you need to be aware that this is happening, okay? That's the most important. Number one, you need to understand what's happening. And number two, you need to identify, okay? So step one, uh, I already explained to you, uh, this is a situation when it comes to trading, right? Uh, the, the zero sum game right you, you need to be cautious that uh, the institutional players as well as the brokers want to secure out okay uh, for brokers wise uh, most of the time they do something known as uh, something called a b book uh, b book means that uh, they're actually betting against you so uh, every dollar you lose is a dollar of profit for them okay so uh, let's go into how do you identify this uh, change of hands Okay, so right now I have a chart over here. This is a pound franc, you can see over here, okay? And we are on the H4 time frame, okay? So I think a good question to ask yourself uh, when you're trying to identify this change of hand is uh, where does the average Joe put their stop loss? Okay, that's a very powerful question. So let me write it down for you. Where does the average Joe put their stop loss? Okay, uh, if you are a new trader, or you're still struggling, then this is the perfect question to ask yourself. Where do I normally put my stop loss? Okay, because chances are that where you put your stop loss is where, you know, those kind of normal uh, so-called gurus or, you know, textbook or books that you read, they tell you to put, you know, put the stop loss below the swing low, put the stop loss above the swing high, okay? Uh, that, by the way, uh, is not the best advice, okay? I'll explain more later. So ask yourself, uh, where did the average Joe put their stop loss, okay? So let's look at uh, this right here, okay? Now market, it's, uh, I mean, we are in an uptrend for sure, okay? Uh, you have a uh, swing high, swing low, swing high, swing low. Price just did this uh, big bullish movement up, okay? So what do you do? Or what does the textbook say? Oh, they say, oh, okay, so you identify that, you know, there is some support over here. Uh, you look for engulfing pattern, you know, you look for candlestick pattern that, uh, you know, show signs of strength. So you say, oh, okay. So based on, um, you know, uh, the textbook, I should be buying. So you buy over here. Okay, let me just uh, mark it here. Then what happens? Price barely even moves a direction. In fact, you sold, you, you bought at the top, sorry, and price goes down. 
to whip you out. Look at this doji. Look at this here, how you know dirty the market is. Okay, so price goes back down before it starts rallying. Okay, so, so you see this pattern. This is actually where most uh this section over here is where most retail traders uh, like you and I will put your stop loss, right? You put your stop loss here. And what happens is that price will go just to take you out, right? Just to make sure you lose the money, right? And then start rallying. Okay, so it's not that you got the direction wrong, but rather you got the entry wrong and you got the uh, stop loss wrong. Okay, it's okay to have a bad uh, entry because you can always compensate your bad entry by having a wider stop, right? Let's say you're new to trading, you're not too accurate, you can't identify levels properly, you can lower your position size and uh, use a bigger stop loss. That's no problem. Okay, but if you put your stop loss wrongly, for example, if you put your stop loss at this level here rather than you know maybe a, a bit further below, uh, you would have lost money instead of making money. Okay, so this is where the change of hands happen. Okay, so ask yourself this question: Where does the average Joe put their stop loss? Okay, where do they put their stop loss? Okay, so that's the first example I have for you. Okay, I'm going to go through more examples so that you understand. Okay, so over here, let's look at, uh, let me just delete the moving average first. Okay, let's look at uh, price over here. Okay, so over here is a swing low, this level over here. Okay, so depending on how you draw it, you take the extreme uh, low or you take the uh, candle. Uh, personally, I would draw it like this because uh, you can, uh, you see that there's one touch here, there's another touch here. It fits nicely, right? So I will put my support line as over here. So what did price do? Okay, if you bought on here, you know, you say, oh, this is kind of like a piercing candle, right? Uh, it's a, you know, red up trend, we should be buying, right? Textbook says that uh, of a, a support, I buy. And you buy over here, okay? Your entry is here. Where do you put your stop loss? Probably below here, because that's what you were taught, okay? Don't get me wrong, right? Uh, this is what most people are teaching, okay? This is what textbooks are teaching, okay? It's not your fault. You must understand this, okay? It's not your fault uh, that you're getting stopped out, right? It's you are being taught wrongly, okay? So hopefully this video will clear up uh, the air for you, but I'll give you some clarity about how to put your stop loss, right? How do you make use of this uh, winning trading formula to align yourself uh, with the institutions, okay? So let's say you bought here, you put a stop loss here, check this out. What happens over here? Just check this out over here. You have another doji that probably uh, stop you out. Okay, you probably got wiped out again, right? Second time, right? And are you frustrated? Of course you are because you, you probably got the direction right. I mean, if you look at this structure, it's still uptrend, right? Pro probably price will still carry on to, you know, uh, go up, okay? But... Because your entry is wrong, okay? Your stop loss is wrong. And that is why you are losing money, okay? So if there's one thing that you need to know is that your stop loss is very important, okay? Always make sure you use a stop loss, number one, okay? That goes without saying. Number two, control your risk, right? Don't trade so big if your stop loss is wide. And number three, use a wider stop loss if you are still uh, new to trading, okay? I mean, it only makes sense, right? If you are new, you are probably not so accurate, right? You are not experienced. You cannot make good decisions. You cannot analyze uh, the charts properly. And that's why you want to uh, use a wider stop, okay? Uh, when you get more experience and you are profitable, then you can ex experiment uh, tightening your stops, right? Uh, for me personally, I like to tighten my stops. I like to have a very small stop loss because uh, it can give me huge uh, reward to risk ratio, which is... Something that I like. Uh, I don't feel happy when I, you know, I, I risk 30 pips, I make 30 pips. That doesn't excite me. Okay, what excites me is uh, I risk 30 pips and I make 300 pips. Okay, that's my personality. I'm not saying that uh, it has to be for you. But I'm saying that uh, if you're still new, then you want to uh, widen your stop loss. Okay, so uh, let me give you, uh, okay, over here. Let me give you an example over here. Okay, so you can see that uh, this pattern happens over and over and over again. Okay, so what you can do is after the pattern has occurred, you can trade in that direction. Okay, so let me explain. So over here, right, you have a, a support, bounce up, you know, breaks, retest. 
somewhere here. Okay, we tested. Okay, so logically you would expect that you know price breaks above, it, it would be uh, you know supported before it goes up. Okay, that's a normal expectation. Okay, so if you buy, let's say you buy on this candle and you put your stop loss behind below, right? Uh, that's a pretty normal play. Okay, that's pretty textbook style trading. Okay, and you should know that textbook style trading uh, won't make you money. Okay, so what happens after that? Price just starts selling down. Okay, so this pattern always happens, right? It involves identifying a known level, waiting for the fake out of the level. When price closes below this, you can enter over here. Okay, you can enter on uh, this candle here. Let me just uh, draw it for you. Okay, you can enter on this candle, put your stop loss above. Okay, that's how you actually uh, align yourself with the uh, institutional traders. Okay, and uh, if you have been our Telegram channel for some time, uh, okay, if, if you're not, please join. It's free. Uh, the link is in the description. Okay, if you've been in our Telegram channel, uh, you will know that uh, we always call this the concept of whipsaw Wednesday. Okay, this tends to happen on Wednesday. Okay, not always, not 100% of the time, but uh, the idea of uh, this institutional pattern of play out generally always happens on Wednesday. Okay, Wednesday uh, during the US session. Okay, that's where it tends to always happen. Okay, uh, you can just, you know, observe it. Maybe the next three weeks, observe it every Wednesday, uh, depending on the time zone you are. Look at the US market. See that uh, the euro uh, type, the euro trading zone will trade one direction. For example, it trades up like this like this and the US session starts selling down okay this always happen okay in fact if you just master this one trading pattern just just this one okay you, just this one and you do it every single week you should be profitable okay but of course it takes skills to identify it uh anything in trading whatever strategy you do it takes skill okay so this is uh, the strategy okay we have another strategy strategy that we teach in our free day trading guide okay the link is in the description okay, it's a free pdf make sure you download it if you have not okay that uh is actually a more beginner friendly strategy that uh, we have for you okay rationale is because it's, uh, that trading strategy is using the uh daily time frame okay so when it comes to trading the daily time frame uh the the, the picture is clearer it's easier to make a decision right you don't really over trade and uh, you have the clarity of mind. Okay, just imagine every morning you wake up, right? Just start your morning, spend 15 minutes, right? Just 15 minutes every day. Look at the chart in the morning, execute, right? While your, your mind is still fresh, okay? When your mind is still capable of making a good decision, right? You, you for example, you make a decision to short here and you just close the chart. There's no emotions involved, okay? But when you do day trading, for example, like the strategy I shared earlier on, right you do a day trading and you know the market moves you have the euro session sometimes the euro session is bullish then the u.s session is bearish then the next day the asia session is bullish again you know you, you get very frustrated because there's no movement and then you let your emotions uh, come up right and when you're emotional you're going to make stupid decisions you're going to lose money you're going to over trade right and that's why most people blow their account and that's not something i want for you so if you're new to trading uh, make sure you download that copy. Okay, it's free. Uh, it's it's step by step. It covers more than just the strategy. It talks about candlestick. Uh, make sure you get it. Okay. So I think before I end off this video, I'm going to uh recap one more time. Okay. Uh, how do you trade this uh winning forex formula? Okay. How do you beat the uh, forex makers, right? Broker, brokers, and institutional traders. You identify the change of hands. Right. Ask yourself. Where does the average Joe put their stop loss and don't put your stop loss over there, okay? Look at these places as entry points, okay? But make sure you complete your entire analysis with, you know, for example, for example market structure, trend, you know, uh, support and resistance level, right? Because if, let's say you do it, for example, this chart over here, you do a, uh, you sell, you say, oh, this is where people will put their stop loss above this swing high and I, you know, sell here. But you're in the uptrend, okay? You're gonna lose money. You can see over here that this is probably a trade that will have lost your money if that's what you did. Okay, so that's not something you want to do. You want to I, I 
understand that this formula is not the magic pill on its own, but it's an understanding of how the market works, but it's not the entire trading formula, okay? We teach you the entire trading course that we have. It's totally free. Uh, check the description below. It's totally free. Just check it out, right? How to open an account and get your bonuses. It's all over there, okay? So that's it for this video. If you like this video, have any comments, any questions, uh, just comment down below. Okay, we release videos uh, almost every day nowadays because you know uh, we are currently in the lockdown period. So uh, there's a lot of time. So we record these videos to serve you better. Okay, so make sure you subscribe to our channel and we'll see you in the next video.